Ken Royal here with the Royal Treatment at Scholastic. I'm talking with Chris Klein. Chris Klein, he's with Smart, and this is the Smart Table, and I want to know something about the Smart Table. The Smart Table is the world's first multi-user, multi-touch table specifically designed for education. We see, a, we see this as being a really necessary part of ages 3 through 8 classroom instruction. Um, what we have found in our research is that a large format front projection board does not always fit the modality and the style of teaching because there's not a lot of direct instruction that goes on. So this is right in the classroom on the floor at yes, the center? exactly. That's exactly what we were looking for. We wanted to have multiple users being able to work on it. If you think about how we actually work as adults, we come to the table and we pass and we share information across the horizontal surface. Right, so it's multi-touch then? Absolutely. So How many? So at, unlimited. So you're actually limited more by the physical size of it which is designed for the students that we're looking at as opposed to what the technology can do. So if I step into my paint program, for example, I'm going to go ahead and it always tells you what to do. It gives you the visual reinforcement. On the edges, yeah. And now I'm going to go ahead and select a color. There we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and say I want multicolor, three-dimensional, and this really showcases the true multi-touch aspect of it very nice. That's great. So it's like finger painting, isn't it? The finger painting without the muscle, without the bus. Uh -huh. The nice thing is that we've gone beyond just the functionality of the application. So again, we're fostering collaboration with the students and the learners. So if I say I want to quit this application, the other learners all have to agree before we're able to move out. So we get consensus in the group. Exactly. It's got to be great for kindergartners. Fantastic. That's exactly what we want. If I go to the multiple choice, for example, which word rhymes with dish? One of the concepts that we had to work with was a true 360 degree environment. So right now, I can read this, but if I'm on the other side of the table, that student can read it. So there never is any truth up or down. So what, which word rhymes with dish? I'm going to say meal. This person says truck. This person says top. Well, it didn't tell me I was wrong. Right. It kicked it back out, so now I have the opportunity to advocate for why I think my answer was right, and then we still have the ability to come back, re-vote for consensus. So, this is the collaboration you really can't have at a, a board, a whiteboard, at a classroom, that you can have at a center, at a table. Exactly. So you've replaced the you replaced a, a large piece of oak tag yep. and a whole bunch of crayons exactly. with something that's interactive. Yes, that only provides positive reinforcement for the young learners. And I can easily make the schematic because by inserting a USB key into the side of the table, when I go back to my main page, my application launching page, I now have the ability that I can change my content. So the table comes with a free content customization toolkit that is Mac and PC. So in this case, I'm going to say, let's, let's learn about, let's go on a Safari adventure. I click Sync. Now, when I pull my USB key back out, notice that I've skinned what's going on here. So you don't have to have the USB uh, inside no. the machine. You, this is a self-contained unit, the projector, the computer, the camera, the DVI-T system. It's all, it's all housed in this. Exactly. And as you roll it into a classroom, you plug it in, and it boots up. And th these are the options you're given. I share with another teacher. She puts in her thumb drive, changes to her theme for whatever it is she's teaching as reinforcement and enrichment. Now when I go into my addition, instead of counting fingers, I'm actually counting money to be able to buy the ticket to so go So you don't have to market. reset this thing up. No. Just drive it in. Exactly. And the, um, Christy, can you get a view of the whole thing, the whole machine, the whole uh, uh, table off the side? I just want to let everybody know what that looks like. So this, this table is sitting in the classroom, just like a regular table. It's always sat in the classroom. Thank you. My only, my only thought is, is that you know, I'm kind of pity for the people on SMART as to whether they tested this with peanut butter and jelly on top. No, but it's interesting that we do do some we do do some waterproofing over the top of the surface cup because we know that there is a possibility for early learners that there might be a spill or something like that. Since it is a self-contained unit with the computer and everything inside, it's not submersible. You wouldn't use this as a resource center for interactive for underwater basket weaving. However, if something spills, it is easily cleaned off, and you don't have to worry about it getting down below and actually damaging the components. 
Well, the nice thing is that it is a, it is a metallic base, so obviously magnets. Anything that the teacher would like to hang across the commercial or to customize it or personalize it, they can do that. And it's saddlebags, so the teacher can put things in and have them in the center. It's going to put things in there so the teacher can go and operate and make them down. Absolutely. Well, the price range I'm sure is well, the price range, I mean, if you, if you take a look at other types of technologies that are out there on the market, we are at, we're about 50% of what those other multi-touch environments are actually at. And when you do an item-by-item -item cost analysis, $8,000 for the table. However, as I said, that includes the computer, the projector, the camera, the multi-touch service. Add all those things up. We're well within what is an acceptable price range. We would like to get the price down because we'd like to see more of these tables in use in more classrooms. But at an initial entry point, it's actually pretty economically feasible for a lot of schools when you factor in everything else that comes along with it.